Hi boys and girls, welcome for our reading lesson today. So this week we are going to dive in deeply to some parts of a story. And so first thing you need to do is find your five elements of a story notes. This is on a half sheet of paper and I glued it into my reading notebook so that it's ready to go. I also have a highlighter and if you don't have a highlighter, you don't have to use it. And I have a pencil. So if you need to pause and get your materials ready, get them ready and then come back and join us. And we're going to talk about this. All right. Hopefully you're ready to go. So we're going to talk about the elements of a story. So elements mean that they're the components. They're parts of a story. And when I say story, I mean a fictional story. So I'm actually going to write that over here. I'm going to write fiction. And fiction means fake or not real. Okay. So we aren't talking about realistic stories or interesting factual stories. We're talking about made up stories, fictional stories. And here are the components. So let's break them down. The first component is called plot. And we're going to be doing this this week and next week. Plot is like the beginning and the middle and the end. We, I used to call it the BME, the beginning, middle, and the end. Okay, the plot is the what is happening in this story. What is going on? It's also the sequence of events, which we just talked about is the beginning, the middle, and the end. So the plot is kind of like the baseline of the story. What's going on? What's happening? The next big component is the characters. Without the characters, we wouldn't have a story. So the characters are who the story is about. Now, last week we talked about character traits. We also discussed that characters don't necessarily have to be people. Characters can be objects like crayons. They can be animals like the emus. Or they can be people, or they can be aliens. It's just who is the story talking about? Now, the next part of the story is the setting. And this is important because everybody always tells me setting is where. It's the location of the story. But setting also is when. It could be time of day. It could be in the year. So I'm talking about it's lunchtime, it's dinner time, it's one o'clock. But I could also be talking about year. We read about Cleopatra. She had her story, her setting was way back. Okay, so the year, when and where it takes place is the setting of the story. The next element of the story is something we'll be diving into later this year. It's the theme of the story. And it's the message or the lesson that we're learning in the story. When we read e Edward the Emu and Edwina the Emu, we learned their lesson or message was that we should always be ourselves and not try to be like others. And so that was the message or the lesson, or we call it the theme. We also sometimes call it the main idea. It's kind of like, what is this whole thing talking about? What's the point of this story? And the last part is the conflict in the story. Now, you've probably heard this as the problem in the story. And we talked last week, if every story was happy, 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 you wouldn't want to read it anymore. It's not interesting if everyone gets along in a story. We want a story with some conflict or some problem. And there's two types of conflicts. There's what we call internal, which means I inside. I inside conflict or internal, which means when I'm struggling with my own emotions or feelings. Should I do my homework or should I play outside? That's an internal emotion and feeling conflict. An external conflict is when I struggle on the out 
side. I'm struggling with other people or things or objects. Okay, so that's a difference. There's internal, which is inside, and then external, which is outside. If my sister and I are fighting over who's going to have the last cupcake, that's an external conflict because it's with other people. All right, so this week we're actually going to be focusing a lot on plot, but we're also going to be discussing the other components of our stories in order to understand them better. You can come back to this um, set of notes as many times as you need to this week. 